Hey guys, welcome back. I have a very cool knife loaned in from my good buddy over at Tier 1 Gear Reviews. There will be a link to his channel down below, so please go check him out. Okay, he, he's kind of fancy with his little stickers. He's got his own packing tape and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. One day I'll get a logo. We'll see. I have some ideas. And... It, uh, T1 worked on something for me, but we didn't really get it all sorted out and finalized. Then I had a friend that was going to help, and eh, it just got too much. So anyway, <laughs> y'all don't care about my logo drama. Let's talk about this custom knife factory, Satori 2.0 knife. And first off, we got some cool, pack, uh, cool cases from Custom Knife Factory. And they always include cool stuff. They always include a always a red kind of embossed microfiber cloth, which is always cool. There is always a um, warranty card, certificate of authenticity that talks about the knife, what it is, and the number because they usually make a uh, run of about 200 of every uh, knife that they make. So this is number 57. And it is also marked on the knife. This comes with an extra clip. Sometimes they come with extra clips, sometimes not. But they do generally come with all new replacement hardware. Not only do you have new bearings in here, but you have new pivots. You even have a new lock bar insert. Um, I don't know. I have had some knives for a very long time. Also comes with a patch and a different sticker. So I have had knives for quite a long time and I have never, ever worn out a lock bar insert. <laughs> but they give you one just in case. It's crazy. So let's just zoom in on this because it is a very cool. Really nice, just kind of tumbled titanium. The most interesting part is this is an integral or an integral, whatever, however you want to say it. The handle scales, quote unquote, is one solid chunk of titanium. The lock bar, like, I mean, everything. I am just always amazed how that comes to be. One solid piece. They've milled out the pocket. They've milled out the lanyard uh, holes. They have milled out the complete inside. Let me grab a light real quick. Because I think this just deserves a little of attention. So all this is just milled out of one solid chunk of titanium. Even the cutout for the lock bar and everything is just... I don't know. It's just kind of awe-inspiring to me how they can do that. So this is number 57, as it said on the card. They mark it right here on the flipper tab. Beautiful Tonto grind with a recurve, which I know turns about half of the people off. But I love a recurve. But again, I don't sharpen my knives. I like the contrast of the black insert the black clip and the black hardware even the black stop pins i kind of like that that contrast nice stone washed on the grinds and a satin finish on the flats it is m390 with the ckf logo here so this is a collaboration between uh peter resenti and Custom Knife Factory. And if you're not familiar with Custom Knife Factory, that's typically what they do. They do come up with some original designs and whatnot. But a lot of what they do is they work with designers to come up with a production version, if you will, a limited production version of a custom knife. So it makes it, it, it gets them out there in the market and it gets people who may not have known who Peter Resenti is. Now they might know because he designed this and worked with CKF to make it. If that makes all sense. So let's talk about the specs of this guy because we've rambled on. Four and three eighths inches closed, seven and five eighths overall, 
3.26 blade, 3.2 inch cutting edge, M390 as I said before, 0.141 blade thickness, 0.473 at its widest, and it's kind of hard to show here, but it's a little smaller here, it swells up in the middle, and then it kind of tapers back down, swells again a little bit at the butt end, but right in here at its thickest point is about 0.473, weighs in at 4.1 ounces, and obviously runs on bearings. All in all, even though it's a small knife, I feel like you get a lot of blade for your handle. Uh, it just, it feels a little small in my hand, but it's not crowded. I, my pinky's not hanging off. It feels good. One thing that I have noticed that that is a personal, I, I don't know. When I did my unboxing, you'll see I kind of nicked my mat here because of the way it closed. And I think I figured out why that is. It's because the detent ball, the detent ramp, is a little farther back. So right now it's hitting the detent ball. And if I pull out a different knife here, the Kubi, it's hitting the detent ball right there. So the, the detent on this one works phenomenally, don't get me wrong there, but it's a little farther back on the lock bar. So when you go to close it, you think you're past the the detent here, and then you go to close it and you're not. That's what I have found. I don't know if anybody else has pointed that out. I, I haven't, I didn't, did not go and watch a bunch of uh, Satori 2.0 knife reviews right before I did this, because I try not to do that, because I don't want to cloud my judgment or just regurgitate what somebody else said. But it makes the closing experience just a little different than most of my other knives. So I think that is why I kind of flubbed it during my unboxing and I kind of nicked my mat, which kind of irritates me. I know you can't really see it, but it bugs me I may be getting a new mat. <laughs> and what this mat is, is just a gamer's mouse pad. So this is mouse pad material. It's just, I don't know, 24, 26 inches long and, you know, like 18 inches deep or whatever. I don't know exactly the measurements, but it's just a huge mouse pad. So that way, if I were to drop something, it's got some padding and it just, I think it looks good and, you know, whatnot. But anyway, I think this is a very cool knife. Let's do a couple size comparisons here real quick with the uh, Sharpie, the Kubi 237, since I pulled it out for the detent comparison. So it's a little smaller than that. Something you guys are maybe more familiar with is the Spider Codelica. And because, you know, it's here and I love it, the Hellraiser. So there you go, guys. The CKF Satori 2.0 from Tier 1 Gear Reviews. Go check him out, and thank you very much for sending this in. I greatly appreciate it. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow.